Alright, and we're back with Tales of Symphonia, and I am showing off Colette's title. Which is Turbo Waitress. Oriental Rice on the right hand and Barbecue Combo on the left. The waitress is called Turbo Waitress. So, that's what we got last time. And if you remember, we were looking for the... What was it? Palmacosta, Palmacosta potion? Whatever. Yeah, we needed some kind of potion, and the guy, he paid us like some salary and said, Here, have a potion. That's worth a thousand dollars. Or, gal, pardon me. And then <laughs> just... we we also have to, we also have a quiz off. We gotta show that genus is smart. S M R T. I am so smart. I mean, what is? It started off as a super serious thing. Our village was plundered, and now we're we're jumping into like a like a two episode special uh, anime where we gotta welcome to anime. Like we got oh we got the waitress trope. Now we got this smart kid that has to fight. Well, let's see. To debate the other. Let's see if we can it's answer. A very this. special episode. Let's see if yeah. we can answer these correctly. What what do you think this guy? What do you think this is? What did Lloyd learn from Kratos? And the... we'll move on to the second one. On the Asa Trail, what did the value of nine point eight the genus substituted refer ah, to? Ah, that's universal gravitation. Universal gravitation. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Uh, wait. I think I, I may have messed up. I forgot I, I almost failed physics. It probably is acceleration. Where was Lloyd? Well, well it's, a, it's, Excel, it's universal in that it's always the same on Earth, at least. So Yeah. So. I might have but been she, wrong. But every now and again, when we started out, she said, you, you can round it up to 10. And then when we started getting further and further, she said, yeah, you can't round it anymore. It's got to be 9.8. No, I've always had it as 9.8. My physics yeah. is just very insistent on it being 9.8. It's never anything else. I could be remembering it wrong. I just I was say, and now we have genius going off against the smart guy. It was like negative nine point eight meters per second squared. So we gotta hear what Gina or what Lloyd scores too, guys. Are you gonna think Lloyd's gonna score well? No, he's a prota He's a protagonist. Twenty five. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is the best bad. part. That's your best yet. <laughs> <laughs> hold, on, hold on, it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos got 380. Oh my gosh. Professor got perfect. As the genus. Look at this. Genius is smart. Congratulations. Genius. Genius. Oh yes. Very, very accomplished. <laughs> All right, that's. I'm gonna say that's not realistic. He legitimately said, "Yeah, I'm sorry, I made fun of you." I highly doubt someone that smart. No, would no that so just builds resentment. That's all uh -huh. it is. And then they start a secret vendetta to sabotage the smarter person. So just, I haven't played the sequel, but maybe that's what happens in the sequel. I mean, if we're gonna go full anime, he's probably waiting to get back at him somehow. I'll steal his girlfriend while he isn't looking. Oh, -ho. we must win the race, speed racer. Oh. -ho. I will be going to nationals this year. Ha ha! But yep, that was it. We did it for a title. That was it. Time to leave. I was just thinking nice. back to the fact that we were a, a waitress just to get the potion. It was worth thousands. It was like the equivalent of working a shift at IHOP and then say, here's five dollars and a uh, an ingot of gold. Yeah. I, c I couldn't afford to turn it into cash. So here's it. Here's an ingot. Or a Rolex. <laughs> Remember me? He'd be struggling to wait. He'd be struggling to put it on the table. You know, those things are like 40, 50 pounds a piece, you know? So. Yeah. The, uh, the altar is is uh, kind of kind of reminiscent of a, of a Catholic church altar. Mm. <laughs> it's almost like they're trying to parody it. Not parody. Take Western influences. Oh, and make it into something that is quasi authentic. Yeah, that's so. actually. There's a trope. Because there's a list on TV trips, and one of them is whenever they want to portray... is Catholic? Is that what it was? That, and when they want to portray power, they usually look to the church. Or when they want to do power and relation together, they usually look to the church. Because that's... Honestly, I think what everyone thinks of when they Sadly. think of power and... Yeah. If, even though that's not what they're supposed to, but they do. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We're looking for the Book of Regeneration, because it can help us. Yes, that's it. Whatever. It's, we want you to lend it to us. An instant request. It's your family treasure passed down. Yeah, we need you to lend it to us. Passed down through the Armstrong generation. That's like the one good thing about Full Metal Alchemist is the Armstrong characters. I, oh, I'm sorry, guys. We're going to get flamed now.
Hey, look, she's the chosen. Surprise, she has wings. <laughs> so basically, the reason this happened, there's a fake chosen of mana going around, too. <laughs> so. Of course. Of course. I mean, I could definitely see that. I mean, people do that nowadays with. Uh, they form cults and claim, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the second coming. Yeah. You know, was... know. Buy me a sports car. Yeah, unfortunately. Scientology. I wasn't gonna I say. Even, then, I wasn't even gonna say Scientology. There's just regular people that manage to con people. Yeah, that. that is true. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say we may have even technically met the fake chosen of mana group already. By the way. Hmm. So. Who oh, could... well, yeah, I think I know, I know who it is now. I've got was... a somewhat good memory. I was gonna say, who could they be? Hmm. That does lead to a side quest, technically, by the way. <laughs> She's not even, uh... <laughs> She's happy about it, too. Yeah. Colette's nearly never not happy. I guess it's like a... Almost like I was gonna say the ditz kind of trope, but she's smart. Yeah, it's not like she's dumb. So. Yeah. I guess she's just average. Naive. Say, she scored two hundred ten on that test, right? So average would be a good way to put it. Yeah, I think she's just more naive. She just she's optimistic about everything. Yeah. Hmm. They're talking about Governor of Devonal Drawer, Drawer, and his family treasure. Who could these be? Is that how you pronounce his name? Because it looked like Dor. I, th I think it was Dor. I think I misspoke. Because, I don't know, I just... When I think of names for my child, I just I don't think... Household object. <laughs> I think when... I think when, um... When they were naming the child, uh, the mother screamed Dor because it was cold and they needed the... She wanted the door to get closed. <laughs> you know, Dor? That is a good name. Still better than some of the names in Phoenix, right? For example, so. <laughs> English or Japanese? Uh, uh, English. Okay. You know, the is. Oh, uh, English. Enjoy English. your hamburgers, Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, where have I? Awkward where zombie. Have I Just... Awkward zombie. Yeah. I'll pull it up real quick. Just because, uh. Most people that know Phoenix Wright just know just how awkward that is. What is? I'm pulling it up. Hold on. What's going on on screen? I'm pulling that up at the moment. Nothing? Okay. They're moving to the boat. I'm on a boat. Yep. That uh, it was a canoe-ish thing that they didn't actually get into. There you go, Templar. And here we're on the main menu, and I think this is where I started to grind again, because everybody loves grinding. Yep. Boo, grinding. That's, no, I don't I don't keep the grinding in. The only reason this happens is whenever there's a cutscene that happens while I'm grinding, I grab the cutscene. So I am not going to, you know, do that. Oh, she has the um the bag cook uh Bad cook trope. Yep, she does. And here we have Colette screaming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but as I said, are you okay? Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Just now, there's this weird person. <laughs> what? Did he hurt you? I'm fine. I think he ran away when I hit him. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, oh my God! I, I, I'm just seeing this cartoon right now. Ah, Los Angeles, the greatest. Screw city you, kid. City. Screw you. Not, not you. You'll see why I say that to that kid later. That kid caused me trouble later. We'll see why. Sorry, sorry, Mike. I apologize. Oh, that's fine. Wow. Ah, Los okay. Angeles, the greatest city in these United States of America. Oh. I, for one, am proud to live in a country with as rich as his culture as ours, as he says, standing right in front of a picture of Hoku size the wave. You know, and with Mount Fuji in the backdrop, when the pagoda everywhere with the ceremonial red lantern streaming from all of the spires of the pagodas. So, <laughs> yep. 
Now let's come, let's enjoy a traditional American meal around the traditional American kotatsu. hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> I've been wanting a kotatsu. As someone who lives in Los Angeles currently, uh, I think it's fair to say it does not look like that at all. So <laughs> that's, that's the joke, but still. Exactly. Just for the record, in case we have any uh, friends who are friends or viewers joining us who are not familiar with Los Angeles. Oh, I've never been. We can also link that. Um, I did want to make a quick note. Sheena let on to something there that everybody here is technically a hick in a sense. So either she comes oh, from. it's like a fishing village. No, Wait, no. Sheena. We... Is Sheena with you now? Or did I just spoil a thing? I spoiled it. I said the name. The mysterious assassin, whose name we do not yet know. <laughs> you idiot, Kevin. <laughs> just, just, just bleep it. Just Man, bleep it, I guess. And you then... made me so excited. Sorry, but basically, the mysterious assassin, whose name we do not know. Just said, wow, they're really behind in technology. Whereas, you know, for as far as we know, this is the best technology they have. So that may be implying something. Just a heads up. And here we have a couple enemies we haven't fought yet, mainly ladybugs and grasshoppers. As I said, I leave enemies in that we haven't seen before, but that's about it. Otherwise, that's not fun. I don't know what it is about Colette. Hovering like an inch <laughs> above the ground. It's just doesn't to me it's not like it doesn't seem angelic. It just it just seems surreal because she's only like an inch off the ground. Have you seen Flo? She looks like one of those girls who wear the weird butterfly wing things. Yeah. I guess the girl Even like despite race. the fact that they are already in high school. Also, I don't know if you just caught it, but the professor just told Lloyd study that enemy's weakness, Lloyd, and Lloyd went, oh man, I have to study here, too. It's because they were in school, I forgot. Yay, yeah. people hate yeah. school. I'm so, so surprised by this. Well, it's more so Lloyd just as an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I could imagine the conversation when the... When the when well, considering the smoldering, that... ...smoldering you know. remains of their village. I'm like, you know what? There's one good thing out of this, and we're gonna have to go back to school now, because it's, it's a pile of rubble over there. That's a good point. Was just, yeah. My homework's probably just wondering if they got there. a refund for that, so. No, they don't have insurance. <laughs> ha ha ha! He just got hit. Ha ha ha! Glowing bird. They're giving us details that we need for later in the game. Like, this is second disc type of stuff, if I remember correctly. It's just kind of making sh sure that you remember it. That's about it. Basically, it's telling you the side quest you have to do later. Okay. But that's not until much later in the game. I was going to say, I think I've recorded up to episode 25 now. And, yeah. Well, we got a lot to go then. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do. It's a long game. We better buckle in, boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I'm fine with us having one long game, and then a short game going on for the second stuff we record. That way, it's in case somebody doesn't want to see all 75 episodes of Tales of Symphonia, they don't have to. <laughs> 75 episodes. Right, I'm expecting it, yes. <laughs> but as I said, the story does start to pick up, and we'll honestly have a lot more to talk about here shortly. Just, we gotta get through the, uh, pretty basic stuff first, unfortunately. Are we gonna get some heavy dose of plot in this one? I don't think there is any plot in this one. Unfortunately. But coming up there is, I suppose. Yeah. I, I think for a while, it's every other episode we get plot, and then later on it's like, here's five episodes of plot, and then we have a couple episodes without plot, here's five episodes of plot. Yeah. So, you know, typical anime stuff. Typical RPG stuff. Whew. Whenever you find this group, by the way, you can... Uh... Pardon me. Get them to repeat themselves because you do need this for later. So, just in case you forgot. <laughs> Mm 
There weren't any... Blah, blah, blah. We have to search for a Linkite tree. Blah, blah, blah. That sounds impossible. Blah, blah, blah. Exposition for later in the game. I don't know why they didn't do this for later in the game. That would have yeah, made more sense. sense to have all this dialogue about a tree you're not going to be looking for until disc two. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess it makes enough sense. Um, I, I won't tell why, just because I want to see if you guys remember when we get to that point in Tales of Symphonia. But they do technically mention it a little bit later, so. Yeah. Thank you, stranger. That is a fairly... I'm just noticing that's a fairly large caravan. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, what is it pulled by? Elvish robots. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I, I could buy that. I don't know why they didn't just make an Elvish engine and turn it into an Elvish caravan hot rod, but... but... Oh, like Grim Fandango? Vroom vroom! <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to And the grind continues. No, no, this isn't the grind. This is just me going from point A to point B. Okay. As I said, I cut out the, I cut out the grinding. If you wanted another yeah, 2 hour if you wanted another 2 hours of seeing me fight enemies, you could have had another 2 hours of seeing me fight enemies. Uh, nah. Probably not. Yeah. I I concur in your judgment there. So. Yeah. No, no. This is I only go from point A to point B. I don't show the grinding cuz uh okay, no, sure. no nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. As I say, as you can see, I was able to take out that enemy group pretty fast, though, so my grinding is doing its job. I think right now I'm a little lost, though. Not gonna lie. As you can see, though, I don't show the enemy fights that we've already seen. If it's an enemy we've seen, okay. you don't you don't get to see him again because uh, right. That, yeah, that would just, be boring. It would be boring, and it would just take too long. Like as is, I'm expecting this to be, as I said, 75 episodes. But if I if I kept all these in, can you imagine how long it would take? Yeah, I mean, I guess when you look at um, a lot of JRPGs, if you get rid of all the grinding, that's a good amount of hours shaved off of it. Yeah, and I was gonna yep. say I know. I was gonna say I know that uh, James has talked about it before, but Dragon Age uh, Origins, what right? Kind of. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't finished Dragon I Age think Origins. I think does it too. Does it? Okay. Which? Uh, what is uh, regarding what? I'm sorry. The leveling. The, Grinding. Uh, enemies level with you. There's not like enemies uh, level with you, and that you cannot overgrind. There's a set number of enemy encounters. Once they're yes. gone, they're gone. With, especially with regards to Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age 1, uh, the enemies do not scale with you, but the game does hmm. not tell you that it doesn't scale. So there's a very set order in which the developers designed the progression. So the problem question. is that the problem I, is Bioware d doesn't tell you. And so oh, the result yeah. is you could end oh, up wait, going wait, wait, to a place on, where you're going to get stomped. Hold on. I, came, I was a little bit early. Here's the mysterious assassin again for James. Oh, hey, look, but, it's but, that girl. Hold on, you don't have to say that girl for about another 30 seconds. Basically, oh, maybe she's not going to tell it to us. Dang, I thought she did at this point. There we go, okay, there we go. Fujibayashi? Fujibayashi. Yeah, because that's what you need to be able to do. That's how it works with Catholicism. You pray to kill people. Right. You don't pray to convert yeah. them. No. It makes your heart grow bigger. Yeah, exactly. That was a, um, that was a scene in Spider-Man 3. He, the, the guy literally did his hand in holy water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> went, knelt down and said, I want you to kill Peter Parker. I forgot about that. Dang. I'm like, okay. Wow. And then what happened to him? He got turned into venom. So people, this is what it means. God does not want you wish praying to kill people. I mean, I, I guess, I guess that actually kind of works out of it. 
because that is pretty like it's one thing to harbor that to say i really want to find this person i did want to show a, um that talking to that person with lloyd and other people gives a different uh, line of dialogue because with lloyd it's like wow that hairstyle is really cool it's the same as mine and then other people when it's other people it's like wow isn't this hairstyle really cool But yeah, anyway, you could always. Going for him the there was that always that one kid who tried to have the anime hair in high school. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the truth? If I remember correctly, I'm actually going to be doing this next bit out of order. But as I said earlier, you technically could come to the area that we're in now last. I just didn't do that because I didn't know you could do that. So instead of last, we're here first, which is how you're typically supposed to do the game, but you can do it out of order <coughs> for some interesting cutscenes. And here's another ranch. I, won I wonder if that means that bad stuff is happening here. That's what they say. You hope you don't get involved and get another village next door burned down. <laughs> <laughs> No. Right now we're just walking around, getting to uh, that small little. I think it's a house of salvation. I can't remember. Or we're oh, gonna. Yeah, go... yeah, that's where they call their churches. Yeah, uh, or we're gonna go walk on the beaches. I think what I'm doing here is looking for the. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for the fish, the sea jelly, and the sea fish. So, we found them. Congratulations. Is, uh, I'm guessing Rain's got more useful skills now. Just yes, fine. Us. Yes. Yeah. Getting to level 20 will typically do that. Yeah, I was going to say, she just did Photon. It's actually Photon is actually, I think, the only offensive spell she learned. I, I think that's wrong. It's the only offensive spell she learns for a long time, but it's a really good spell, so. I guess she's mostly just heals and buffs. Heals and buffs, yeah. And, uh, de and, uh, debuffs, yeah. yeah. Condition removers, too. Which I suppose counts as healing, so don't know why I clarified that. Yeah, basically support. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So how far do you go uh, with the wooden swords until you get to your uh, title? Three more episodes? So... Far enough, honestly. I think there was the guy that, uh, he went the entirety of Skyrim, I think, mm -hmm. with the, or was it some other, I, I don't know, it was, it was Borderlands 2, I think, the guy went the entire game, beat the entire game, with just using the starter pistol that you get at the very beginning. I'd rather not want to kill myself, thank you. I'd, I mean, I'd struggle. On, actually, it was kind of easy, but even then, was it, it was somewhat of a challenge, even with good gear, and this guy mm -hmm. did it with the starter pistol. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Not that any of us would kill ourselves, by the way. I would like to make that caveat. Yeah, it's just... It's just... <laughs> uh, hyperbole, or whatever the term would be. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called either at the moment. Man, I really wish I'd waited 15 more minutes, then I could have actually started saying China instead of Mysterious Assassin. Dang. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I messed, I messed up. Even then, I don't think that's too much of a spoiler, it's just her name. I think you're right. Well, so her name's kind of... Was her name originally Sheena? Because it seems strange that her name is Sheena, which is like, I don't know. More Western and then just a Japanese last name. Yeah, you'll find out. Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. We get across the ocean. Oh no, you're not. No, you're not. We need our healer. You're coming with us. Nothing. I'm not getting in that. Oh yes, you are. It looks fun. You pay two hundred gold for a wash tub. Uh huh. I think the conversation. What the heck? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Good cover up. 
I think whoever they got the gold for was like, sure. dude, they actually bought it. They gave me 200 gold. What do you do? Uh, we should have some wash tubs out in the garage. <laughs> I was going to say, if you actually look back there, it did look like there was water inside the wash tub. Uh, these are these aren't wash tubs. These are um, ceremonial warrior boats. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we're now at the geysers. That was indeed a rare experience. I didn't even know it was her that made the ah noise. I thought that was one of the kids. No, that was, that, that was her. Lloyd made it too, technically, but not in the same way. Wow! He's probably gonna say, I knew that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Exposition. What about the sign, kitty? Excuse me. Didn't we see that in another hot place before? Hmm. Maybe. And now I'm just getting all the NPCs out of the way. Three great tourist spots. I don't know why. None of them are really that interesting. Like, you get the geyser. Cool. <laughs> well, I imagine it must be... I don't know, if you if you travel all the way to, say, Yosemite, and you're just there for the geyser, and it goes off, like, well, that was fun. I guess so. I was gonna say I'd want to go to Yosemite for the park, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, I'd go for the park just to take it all. I've been to Yellowstone before myself. Yeah, but you know, What's, uh, the problem is most people spend their time just looking at Old Faithful and then they leave. So, which is such a shame. We can go into this more in the next episode, but I went uh, like kayaking up in Alaska in the wilderness, and that was gorgeous. I don't think we have enough time to go over all of that in two minutes, though, to be quite honest. Yeah, we'll put a pin in it and yeah. save it up. I was going to say, I'd be more than willing. We can all talk about our wilderness experience. Just if we do that, we'll need to go to the next episode. At least those places had other things, but this is, what is this, just an island with a geyser? Yep. Although technically, if you're chosen, it leads to wacky adventures. <laughs> so, uh, family, we managed to save up ten years of uh, ten years of my paycheck. So we're gonna go to the Geyser Island, and they get there and spend five minutes, watch the guys go off, and they get to go home. Yeah, it, what an amazing abuse of your money. Also, I'd like to point out where the heck did noise come from? Yeah, it wasn't with them at all. Anyway. Yeah, this isn't the last time that happens, by the way. But now, now he's here. He wasn't in the tub, but he's here now. That's the uh, Indiana Jones walk thing. A little cat. Meow. Oh, is, that, is that her summon? Yeah. Is that is. Her, her persona? Her uh, I hate I hate summoning in this game, and we'll get to that when we get to that, but oh, I just want to know I hate summoning in this game. Because there's a specific yeah. way you have to do it, that's why. But Wait. Get... Is Sheena following you, or...? Sheena is following us, yes. Okay. Wanted to make sure I wasn't getting ahead of myself. You are You are not. Yeah, okay. She, she is following us. But yeah, basically, we're, notice, we're talking, Lloyd, you should probably pay attention if you want to survive. But yeah, she's following <laughs> us. I made a terrible one. I shouldn't have said that. 